In this video, we'll talk about how procrastination can destroy your life. In the previous video, the layout of the brain was explained through the science of procrastination. The brain utilizes hormones when making decisions, always looking at the best outcome for a person. It doesn't matter whether the outcome is about resting peacefully or completing an assignment, it's about learning what the body needs at a specific moment. Even though many things can be done throughout the week, the brain will continue to choose relaxation to ensure that the body is well rested and that there is more dopamine in the system at the end. Since the mind will not always choose the best route to take, procrastination can be a bad thing to rely upon as it can damage your lifestyle choices. Now, let's talk about the four reasons procrastination can be devastating to a person's life. The first reason is that it causes him to mismanage his time. It causes him to lose track of when an assignment is due, causing more trouble than good. When it comes to either a school or job assignment, the important thing is to make sure that each assignment is done on time or turned in close to the due date. Sometimes people will wait about a week before starting an assignment. They will prioritize relaxation without ever realizing the level of punishment they could encounter. There are times when people come down to being able to complete only one assignment. Some think this is not a big deal since there's always something else that will enable them to get back up. They can always do something that will tell their employer that they are still worth employing. Alongside, always running against time can add years to your life. For example, if you're working on a project that doesn't have a due date, but it's a publication which can set you up for better jobs in the future, nothing says directly that you must work on it straight away. Nothing states that it needs to be done within a certain amount of time. Since there's no exact due date for the publication, the mind sees that there's plenty of time to continue pushing it off until the last minute. Then, years go by, and the publication is nowhere near complete, and the same chain of low-wage jobs keeps impacting you. If you simply took the time to work on a small amount every day, or at least once every week, you would have a better job with accompanying wage. It's not always about when the next due date is. It's about moving through the changes in life to understand that work constantly needs to be done to gain success as the years go by. The second reason procrastination can be bad for you is that you can miss certain opportunities in your life. You might not be able to meet the goals that are formed right in front of you. It's all about going through your life to realize that it is changing and that things can be different. When you approach the deadline for a project at work or in school, the most important thing to consider is what you can achieve in terms of opportunity. Most opportunities that happen in life only come around once. No one is ever guaranteed a second chance at an opportunity. Since this happens, being a procrastinator can be very harmful because you wait until the last minute to grasp these opportunities. Even though most people will immediately see an opportunity right in front of them, they will continue to wait until the last minute and not do anything. That is the moment the opportunity is lost. The world works by giving people opportunities. If you do not have any opportunities at hand, then you must use your goals to inspire you to work harder to be able to move forward and find success in life. When it comes to meeting goals, it is more about accepting challenges. Throughout the day, people can take on any task and still carry out their daily routines. But when it comes to having an actual goal, it becomes harder to achieve when procrastination is in the picture. Some people will say that if a person really wants to achieve something, he will achieve it. Well, this might be true in the sense where people can develop themselves and continue to work towards a goal until they complete it. Procrastination happens when a person relaxes more than focuses on the goal itself. In this sense, even when a person has a strong desire to change, he actually won't because he will keep delaying this change in his life. Whether he's trying to change his eating habits, 
physical activity, or even his job. It's all about allowing a change to come. But that change will need to come at a certain point. There are no actual points where a person is forced to stop or change the deadline of his goals. Because of procrastination, it becomes harder to complete one's goal in life. The third reason procrastination can badly affect your life is because it ruins your goals and opportunities. In this sense, procrastination can ruin your career. It's more than just taking on a simple job and then waiting until the last minute to complete everything. It's about forming a bad habit within yourself, which tells you to wait until the last minute to complete anything. Therefore, whenever you apply for another job or look for a different career, your interviewer will look at your records and see that you are not the most responsible employee. This will make it much harder for you to find a new job and therefore it will be harder to accept and maintain a different career. The management of a business wants every employee to be efficient when carrying out tasks. If you are an employee that causes the downfall of a business, your managers will not hold their breath to keep you or give you another chance. They will simply let you go, leaving you to search the real world for a new job. The same cycle will happen because procrastination is within you and it keeps you from meeting deadlines and doing your best during meetings. You might have to deliver an important speech, which you only prepared the night before or even an hour before the meeting itself. Your manager will see that you are not working hard enough and that you are not worth being employed by the company. Therefore, your company will let you go considering that you always wait until the last minute before carrying out important tasks. It's always best to realize that there are more important things to do than just sitting down and doing nothing. The last thing that can happen when it comes to procrastination is that it will cause you to have a lower self-esteem, leading you to make poor decisions. It is one of those vicious circles and periods of life where people form habits that they walk themselves into. And these are usually much harder to get out of. Procrastination itself is not going to necessarily be the cause of this. It will just reinforce this idea. It will make a person's self-esteem even lower because he'll realize that he is all because he'll realize that he always waits until the last minute and that he's not someone a business can rely on. He will begin to doubt himself and ask questions as to why he is unable to be responsible and do assignments as early as possible. He will begin to wonder how he got to this point and begin to question other points in his life that he has been waiting on and has not even seen. If you are a person who focuses on building self-esteem, Procrastination is one of the worst habits you can develop. At this point, it's all about making decisions in life. If you procrastinate, you will always make poor decisions because you choose to wait until the last minute. Take note, though, that not to procrastinate is not a rule. It simply should not be considered in most cases because it causes stress. And when it comes to stress poor decisions are made. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.